I'm Craig Johnson from valleycoin.com and today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our specific gravity testing kit. Specific gravity is a measure of the ratio between a specific volume of precious metal uh, compared with that same volume, the weight of the same volume of water. For example, silver has a specific gravity of 10.49, which means that a cubic centimeter of silver is going to weigh 10.49 times as much as a cubic centimeter of water. We wanted to set up a system that could test the specific gravity of items as large as a 100 ounce bar of silver, uh, but is be sensitive enough to test small items like uh, uh, pieces of gold jewelry. So we started out with the iBalance I3100 scale. Um, it has a capacity of 3100 grams and it weighs in increments of 1 one hundredth of a gram. This is the way it comes from the factory. Um, this is called a draft shield here, but uh, for the specific gravity testing kit, we want to take that and set that aside and we just use the scale. There's four parts to the specific gravity testing kit that we have set up. Uh, the first one is the suspension frame which goes over the weighing tray of the scale and it settles in right around the, the scale there. There's a, there's a riser block which goes on top of the, of the um, weighing tray of the scale. There's the immersion tank which goes right on top of the riser block and then there's the suspension tray which hangs on the frame. When you set it up, you want to make sure that the uh, immersion tank is not touching the frame and that the suspension tray is not touching the tank. And then you'll get an accurate reading. All right, now I've got a couple items that I want to uh, demonstrate to show you how to test. I've got a couple of a couple of Maria Teresa tallers, and I also have a 100 ounce bar of silver. So we're going to test all these items. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you get a dry weight uh, of the item you're testing. You divide that by the water weight and that gives you the specific gravity. You compare your specific gravity to a table of specific gravities and, and then you can determine, uh, give you an idea of what the item you're looking at is made out of. Uh, so first we're going to get a dry weight of these items. Turn the scale on and zero it. Alright, let's go to zero. Okay. First one, 28.05 grams. Second one, 21.73 grams. All right. Now we're going to put the specific gravity testing kit in place. Settle the frame there. Make sure nothing is touching. We're going to, when the water settles, we're going to zero the scale. All right. So the first coin, we're going to get the water weight now. It's important to, when you put your item in the water, not to get your fingers wet and not to let any water splash out because that'll affect your reading. So this one has a water weight of 2.77 grams. And then we're just going to just going to zero it and drop the other coin in then. the second one. That one has a water weight of 3.00 grams. All right, so the first coin, take the weight 28.05 divided by 2.77 gives us a specific gravity of 10.13 and uh, the second one, 21.73 divided by 3 gives us a specific gravity of 7.24. So when I compare that to my table, it tells me that uh, the first coin is within the, within the range for silver. Um, pure silver is 10.49, coin silver is 10.31. This one comes in a little bit lower than that, but it's within the range for uh, good silver. Uh, the second one is 7.24, which is actually a lot closer to the specific gravity of 10. So that tells me that that's not a good coin. All right, now we're going to do we're going to do a hundred ounce bar. One of the drawbacks of the scale is that the maximum capacity is three thousand one hundred grams. Hundred ounce bar weighs a little bit over that three thousand one hundred and ten grams, um, and and so if you put the if you put the hundred ounce bar on the scale, it's going to error out. It doesn't want to weigh it for you. But you can trick the scale into weighing your hundred ounce bar. Here's how you do it. You put the put the riser block on and zero the scale. Then we take the riser block off, you have a negative number. 
So 125.88, I put that into my calculator, 5.88. Then I put the 100 ounce bar on there, and I add that 125.88 to 2,984.97. 2,984.97, and that gives me the weight of the bar, 3,110.85 grams. So now, now we're going to test the specific gravity. Um, we're going to put the riser block, block in place and the suspension apparatus over that. Zero the scale. Wait for it to settle here. Now on a large item like this, it's a lot easier to take the whole apparatus off the scale, set it down, put the item in place, and then lift it back onto the scale. So the water weight for the bar is 297.26. 297.26. So we'll do division here, 310.85 divided by 297.26. That gives me a, a, reading, a specific gravity of 10.47. I'm going to round it off a little bit. Uh, my, my table of specific gravity says silver is 10.49. So that's within the tolerances. That tells me that this is a genuine bar of silver here. So if you want to get uh, a specific gravity testing kit, just visit our website, www.valleycoin.com, or give us a call toll-free, 1-877-875-0786. Thanks.